Classic cyber defense relies on attackers making some noise to be detected. As attackers become more and more sophisticated, deception becomes increasingly common augmenting this basic layer. This proactive approach uses fake resources to identify malicious activity with high fidelity. Honey tokens offer a low-cost high-efficacy realization of this defense mechanism. This is a quick demo of the deception or honey token solution for Microsoft Sentinel. The honey token solution is based on creating fake tokens into the customer's Azure resources automatically, initially keys and secrets in Key Vault, and then detecting suspicious access to them via Azure Sentinel. Here you see a typical key vault with three real keys and one fake key that was created automatically by the solution. As you see, it is very difficult to spot the planted key among the legitimate keys. The fake one here is the prod key six. An attacker who is not familiar with the environment would try to download all keys or some of them and use them to access a protected resource or decrypt encrypted storage. Let's trigger an incident by accessing the Honey token. Downloading the public key would create an incident in Sentinel. Before we review the incident that was created, let's look at the watch list and analytic rules that the solution creates. The Honey tokens watch list lists all the Honey tokens keys and secrets that are monitored for access. Since it's more likely for a regular user to be compromised than for the SOC, only the SOC has visibility to this list. The solution deploys three analytic rules, two rules that search the key vault logs for access to any of the honey tokens in the watch list, and one rule that is triggered if an attacker turned off the submission of the key vault logs to the Sentinel workspace. Now let's look at the incident that was triggered by the key access that we've just simulated. Incident number 9 here is the incident that is triggered after this kind of access to a fake key. If we look at the full details of the incident, we can see that this honey token key was accessed three times. We can see the username who accessed it in the entities section. We can see the name of the fake key that was downloaded, prod key number 6, down here. In the solution you also have a workbook to specifically monitor and investigate deception incidents. You can see all the Honey Tokens incidents listed at the top. Selecting one of them allows looking into the entities of the incident. We can explore a summary of the latest activity of one of the entities, or deep dive into a suspicious activity to get the full logs. A direct link can lead the analyst to the entity page in Sentinel. The Honey Tokens Management Workbook addresses the challenge of deploying the Honey Tokens. Since often the SOC doesn't have access permissions to the Key Vault resources that might belong to completely different subscriptions in the tenant, this workbook deploys the Honey Tokens on behalf of the user, the Key Vault owner. This workbook can be shared with the Key Vault owners in the organization to deploy the Honey Tokens at scale into all their Key Vaults, or guide them through a manual deployment to specific ones. To share the workbook and monitor deployment across the organization, a custom recommendation can be created in Microsoft Defender for Cloud that would be raised for all the Key Vault owners. Thank you for watching this demo. This solution is currently in public preview and is available for installation from Sentinel's Content Hub.